I'm moving to Canada. Not just me, my wife, my kids. We're moving to Vancouver. Brisbane in Australia to Vancouver in Canada. It's exciting. I'm excited, I think. Um, the reason I say I think is there's just the process of moving a family around, halfway around the world, 17,000 kilometers, I think, whilst trying to take a new job, whilst trying to finish up everything here. Like, there's just a million things to do. And that's creating a level of uh, stress and the, taking the focus so that it's hard to maintain that excitement. I know it will be good, but I can't really focus on that right now because there's so much to do right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a series about the whole process of moving from Brisbane to Vancouver. And so I'm gonna cover why we're moving, how it came about, how we do things like all the research and all the admin about finding where we're gonna live and schools and all that kind of stuff. The actual move and the flight and all that kind of process. And then like my first impressions of Vancouver and Canada and, and it's sort of an Australian's view of moving to Canada and moving to Vancouver. So let me know if you want to see that by subscribing, commenting, thumbs up, all those things. First, possibly the hardest part of this process, the thing that's been weighing on my mind the most since I tentatively accepted the offer to move, which is I have to resign. This is a big, big thing. And this is actually probably one of the first jobs where I have resigned and felt bad about it. In my current job, I've been making good progress and hired a bunch of people, haven't had too many resignations, so the team has grown, what we're doing is, doing is grown, and the business itself is growing. So it's quite a good place to be. I work directly with the co-founder, so the CTO and the CEO both talk to me and ask for my opinions on things, and I, I'm a well-respected part of that team. So when you wrap all that up, to then, to then resign from that is, a very hard thing to do for me. The real funny thing about this whole process though, over the past two years I've been approached, like uh, seriously approached for serious offers, not just recruiters fucking around. None of the offers I have been receiving or being approached for were compelling. And I came to the conclusion that I probably wasn't going to get a compelling offer for Brisbane. So it made me just realize that that's okay, I'm happy where I am. Lo and behold, I got approached to move to Vancouver. Now that's compelling in itself because it's a different experience, it's a different lifestyle, it's an adventure, it's living in a cold climate, it's being able to go to the snow or going mountain biking and living in beautiful scenery, being close to uh, mainland USA and being able to do that as travel. So, A, that's a very compelling. Um, compelling, on the co compelling on the company and the experience it's gonna give me compelling on the location, the lifestyle. And then the package was pretty compelling as well. So all up, uh, everything was compelling. And compelling enough, for me to say yes, and, and to have to resign from my good, happy Brisbane job. Like most things, I'm a honesty, you know, radical candor, uh, there's, there's buzzwords around this thing. Basically, I like to be honest and transparent in everything I do, including resigning. First thing is I'm gonna be saying, look, I'm leaving, I am moving to Canada. The key message I wanna give them is this is not about the company. I love working for you guys, that is not, a, it's, it's, it's the classic Seinfeld, it's not you, it's me. It's not you, it's me. You're giving me the it's not you, it's me routine? <laughs> I invented it's not you, it's me. <laughs> Nobody tells me it's them, not me. If it's anybody, it's me. All right, George, it's you. You're damn right it's me. <laughs> um, but it is, like that's that's what this resignation is. I, I think there'll be, I think there'll be a little bit of the shock and they'll probably be a little upset. I have a notice period, but I'll offer a little bit more. Uh, there's a little bit of time that I'll say, hey, I can stay on for a little bit longer if you'd like. I have a bit of a plan for here are some of the key things I think I should work on in those, in that notice period. I want to almost present a menu of, look, 
I'm here, I wanna set you, the company, and the next person up for success, what's the best way I can do that? We'll see how that goes. It's done. It's done. Oh, it's done. Also, before we get into it, this is not chocolate, it's a scab. Not sure that's better. Living in Australia, especially Queensland, we seem to be the skin cancer capital of the world. So I went and got something checked out. I thought it was fine, but they just froze it and got, get rid of it. Maybe another benefit to living somewhere else. Uh, I, I didn't have a very good sleep last night and I felt not sick, but nervous. I was just in preparation for this. And the funny thing was, it was fine. It was absolutely fine. And I, and I knew deep down it would be. I knew that the founders would both understand, even if they were shocked and had not seen it coming, I, they would understand the desire for me and my family to go on a little overseas adventure and live somewhere differently. And just, uh, that, I, I knew that would be the case. So it went, it went well and that was good. I was thinking about the reasons why this was such a big, uh, thing for me and felt, made me feel a bit nervous. The, the two things were, were like, I, I didn't want to let them down in terms of them feeling surprised. But the flip side is I don't really get one-on-ones with anyone. No one has really been talking and asking me about my desires and motivations and where I'm going and what I want to do with my life. If that had been the case, then I probably would have been a bit more, they would have known that, oh, it's living overseas is something I'm interested in. I like to be open and honest and talk about all this stuff, and if we had a regular kind of one-on-one, -on -one, I guess it would come up. It's a hard thing to just insert randomly into a conversation you're having with someone around the water cooler, though. What was the second thing? I can't remember what the second reason was. I was walking home, I had two really good reasons. I even practiced what I was going to say, and now I've forgotten it. Whatever. But I'm done. Oh, that was it. I remember. The second is, this is kind of like resigning is the absolute last point that I could pull out without really having too much of a negative impact on our life. Up until this point, we've agreed on stuff and you know, I'd hate to let people down by agreeing to an offer and then reneging. But theoretically, like not much, like we've got a lot of documents in place and we've got a lot of immigration process in place and we're getting there. But actually quitting and letting people know I'm going, that's it, that means we're going. I've been mostly confident for the past few weeks that this is gonna be fantastic, this is what we wanna do. You have these moments though when you think about it, and go, oh, am I making the right decision? Is this something I really should be doing? Is it right for me? Is it right for my career? Is it right for my wife? Is it right for her career? Is it right for the kids? Is it right for our lifestyle? Is it right for the money? All of those things. And they weigh on you. And sometimes when you're thinking about all that stuff, you can get, it can be easy just to listen to the little guy on the shoulder going, you could just stay where you are. But no, I've resigned. We're going. And if you want to know about how we kind of make all those decisions that I was just talking about, like how we assess all those risks and make the decision that it, how it will impact me and my career and my wife's career and our life and our relationship and our family and our kids and schooling and all that stuff. I'm gonna do that in the next couple of videos on this whole series of me relocating to Canada. I'm not sure if I'm gonna name the series anything and Aussie relocates, no, whatever. If you're interested in seeing how we went through that process and how we've made this decision and all that kind of stuff, then subscribe and hit the bell because those videos will come out soon. Well, they'll come out whenever I get the time because the top priority is this gigantic fucking list of stuff I need to do in order to move. But for now, I've resigned. I can start telling people, I can start making these videos and really putting the wheels in motion for moving to Canada. Me, my wife, my two kids, we're going to Vancouver.